District 6 has borne the brunt of apartheid policies by the previous regime, but a bright light on its otherwise scarred landscape is the Cape Peninsula University of Technology. This institution, through its educational focus, has managed to turn the negativity surrounding the area into something positive. Uh, informatics is another word for information systems design and then we design all sorts of other things. In essence, we design four types of things. We design computer programs, we design environments, we design media, and we design objects and stuff. Uh, so, and what we, what we do as a faculty, what keeps us all together, what makes information technology or computers uh, design similar to the other forms of design that we do is all of us solve problems for people. The learners are faced daily with challenging concepts, stereotypes, form and function that they in turn have to dissect as well as improve upon. The environment, while tough, prepares them for life in the creative field and they are able to let loose their design fantasies in an educational space but with a real benefit on the community outside. We have a number of projects in our IT department. We have a project where we engage directly with a group of uh, communities uh, who are recovering from drug dependence in the Athlone environment and we use computer uh, programs to help them communicate with each other and then we also have projects where we work with grannies on the Cape Flats where we teach them and we help them to make garments which can then be sold in the fashion industry. Many of the hottest young talent are coming from this education powerhouse and apartheid's imbalances are righted by ensuring people of colour are engaging in the changing face and space of the creative world. We as a university have made it our mission statement that we want to be very accessible. Which of course means that yes we are very accessible but it also means that we are very popular. So for architecture, for argument's sake, we get about 700 applications, we can only take 100, which makes its own problems. Then, as you know, there are funding agencies that help students. The NSFAS funding agency helps un, um, students who do not have enough money to come and study here, so we look after that. And then we also are very strong, we have a very strong unit that does recognition of prior learning. CPUT is at the forefront of design in the city and it just so happens to be doing this from the doorstep of one of the most painful places in Cape Town's history. The future is being designed by the children of the disposed.